All right, so I'm gonna break down today and make one of my most popular dishes. Everyone who comes over is always asking, Hector, please, when are you gonna feature your Cuban style beans? And I'm gonna do that today. All you need for the Cuban style beans, it's very, very simple. Onion, bell pepper, and We're gonna garlic. use a total of one bell pepper. So I'm gonna use half the red and half the green. We're going to do a coarse chop. I'm going to go ahead and just remove the insides. And we're just going to go down. Very simple cut. And we'll do the same with the green. Turn it sideways, and then we'll just come down with it just like this. Do the same with the green. I'm going to make sure they're all about the same size. Uniformity is very important in the world of the culinary. Our onion, I want to get it about the same size. We're just going to go down. How nice that cuts, huh? Nothing complicated here. Nothing complicated at all. Now these Cuban beans are not traditional, but they are classic. So you're really going to enjoy the recipe. As far as the garlic, we're going to do four garlic cloves. I'm going to save you the agony of having to watch me cut them up. So we'll just do one, give you an example of how, what kind of a coarse chop we want here. And that's it. We're going to do four of those. Butter beans. It's a nice large bean. Kidney beans. Black beans. And we're going to use a bean that's not a bean. We're actually going to use what they use in the Mexican kitchens a lot, hominy. All right, we're going to go ahead and wash our beans. It's a good idea to, um, to rinse your beans. I like to rinse the beans. Some people like to put the beans in there without the, um, with their own brine, but I don't like to do that. I like to use, uh, I like to clean it. Give it a nice wash. All right. Awesome. We're going to get a nice pot. I'm using a Dutch oven. I like to cook in these. They're very versatile. Uh, this is a six and a half quart, but we're going to use approximately four to five quarts in this dish. We're going to incorporate our vegetables as well. All right, once we uh, once everything is covered, about four to five quarts. We will start the cooking process. Nice. All right, we're going to put that on a, on a medium to high flame. We want to bring it to a boil, but we're going to go ahead and put our seasonings in. As far as spices are concerned, we have one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of cumin, 
and we have a couple of bay leaves. And we'll go ahead and stir that up. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn it down. We're going to simmer it for about 45 minutes. All right, near the end of the cooking process, we're also going to include some uh, other delicious things, including white wine. Make sure that the wine that you use is uh, something that you would drink. Any dry white wine is fabulous. Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc. I'm using a Chardonnay. We're going to go with half a cup. Apple cider vinegar. Or whatever vinegar you have in there. But I find that apple cider vinegar really, really gives it a special uh, flavor. And that was the fourth cup. And we're going to go with some... Olive oil. Make sure it's a nice quality olive oil. We're going to go ahead and incorporate that in as well. Um, the Cuban beans. Uh, we got a nice boil going on. So we're going to go ahead and turn the fire down. And we're going to let it simmer 45 minutes. All right, it's actually been about 50 minutes. It's time to go ahead and incorporate our oil, vinegar, and wine. At this point also, I'm going to add a little black pepper. Black pepper to taste doesn't need a lot. As well as some salt. I'm going to go ahead and use one teaspoon kosher salt. And I'm also going to use a little bouillon. I like the better than bouillon. This is a vegetable base. And if you haven't figured it out, this dish is also vegan. So for all my vegan friends out there, you're going to love this. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of this. And we're going to let that cook down a little bit. Cook that wine down so you don't get twisted up if you, uh, if you eat it. And we're going to let that go for probably another 10 minutes. The moment of truth has arrived. Let's go ahead and taste it. Now you can serve this with rice. I just happen to have a little bit of rice here. So I am going to get a little bit of rice. If you have some rice, it usually works out really, really good. I'll leave a recipe for some rice down the road. And we have the beans. Beans will serve on the side there with some nice broth. Excellent. And let's go ahead and taste it. I can't wait. Mm. This is awesome. You can taste the vinegar in there garlic, onions, bell peppers. Man, this is awesome. You need to try it. 